pretty nice one in those rings. Y'all agree? No, we don't agree. Take that ugly thing up your nose. Right now. What's up, y'all? It's Epic Realist, and I'm back. It was another video. Mm. Homeschooling is hard as fuck. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious by now, but some days are harder than others. Like, really. It's draining. It's draining. <laughs> Wish I had an extra teacher or someone over here, like, um, I don't know, someone who could just, you know, be a tutor or some kind of help or something, you know? Mm. Or me, you got it like that. <laughs> hope he does help me. Of course, when he's not at work, he does help me teach these little boogers. And yeah, that greatly helps, especially the older ones. Because they're getting into more complex topics that I don't want to talk about or I don't really know too much about. And he can explain it better, especially math, because I ain't good at math. I'm just not. <laughs> He's teaching the older ones something. Normally, I'm gonna attack the younger ones. And uh, yeah, and when he's at work, I'm left alone to deal with all of them. <laughs> but it's just draining. Today, well, it's four o'clock now. It's at the end of my homeschool day because I had to stop at around three. Me and Bert's pretty much done, but. Older ones, I mean, the older ones still have like a little bit of stuff to do, but nah, I said shut it down, shut it down. Because I'm tired. My oldest daughter was asking me some history question that she couldn't figure out, and I was like, no, we'll do it tomorrow. Fuck it, let's figure it out tomorrow. I'm tired. I'm not going past three o'clock. <sighs> I'm not. Because, like I said, homeschooling is rough, it is tiring. And keeping up with it every day is every day of the week for the most part is draining even if I do it even if I homeschool every day of the week for two weeks it's still draining even if it's just only two weeks you know but I do give myself some me time of course three and beyond that is my little me time and I have a little bit of me time around you know at night when they go to bed I do make sure I have time for myself because if I didn't I would not be sane right now and I gotta keep myself sane, so I do give myself some me time. I have to, it's imperative. That helps because, of course, it's supposed to help, you know? Sometimes in between lessons, if everybody's like really on their own, everybody's doing pretty well for the most part, or the younger ones, whoever did need help before, they're already gone. I'll just play a little game or something. I'll play like a quick game or something on my phone or whatnot. Um, just to pass the time. I'll do a little workout. I'll do something small to occupy the time until I can get back to helping whoever needs help. So yeah. Um, it's still pretty draining, you know? It, it is. Most people, they'd be like, well, how do you manage to do that? How do you manage to teach all them kids? <sighs> y'all, y'all have no idea. <laughs> it is rough. Trying to do lesson planning. I have to lesson plan for the week so I'll know exactly what I'm teaching. And I'll stay on track and not get behind or, you know, miss something, you know? <sighs> Y'all. Mm. For those who homeschool more than three kids, you already know the deal. Because I got five over here. And normally the four-year-old, she's just in a corner somewhere laying on her own, you know? I'll come back to her whenever I'm done dealing with somebody else. Because right now I have to mostly work with my six-year-old and my eight-year-old. They're the two that need the most help. And the two older ones, they can pretty much hold their own. They can hold their own except for like certain small things they might need help with. But y'all, I'm tired. It's the end of my whole school day. I'm tired. I'm pretty much resting right now on one of their tables. So, 
Yeah, I need to make myself get up and do a workout because I have not worked out yet today. I need to force myself to get up and do a workout. So that's what I'm trying to find the energy to do it right about now. Kids are down there occupied playing. And uh yeah, just chilling. Every day is not as easy. Today was one of those not so easy days. You know, especially with my eight-year-old because she has a little bit of dyslexia. So her spelling and reading and all that is like not very, not going very well, you know. But I've been working with her and trying to do my best. She's gotten better with not writing backwards all the time, but she still spells backwards. She put letters in the wrong place with words that I know she knows how to spell. And that in itself is frustrating. Dealing with a dyslexic child is not easy. And I've seen dyslexic children in the past because my mom, she used to own a school. And I've worked with dyslexic children back when I was, you know, a teenager or whatnot. So, I'm very well aware of what it's about, but now having a child who's dealing with it, it's like, oh my god, this is harder than I would have imagined, you know? You know, it's frustrating. I'm trying not to bash her for how she, you know, spells or writes or engages herself, but it's rough, you know? It's like, she's eight and I often have to go back to, like, kindergarten, first grade phonetic lessons just for her to spell correctly. Right. So, yeah, it's not fun. That part's not fun. We will get through it, you know? She has made progress over like, the last two years. And, um, yeah, each of my children have different learning, um, not difficulties, but, um, styles. Yeah, they all have different learning styles. They all learn differently. They all have their individual strengths and weaknesses, and that's just the roughest thing to deal with. But again, we shall persevere, we shall get through it. Because I chose this, and this is what it has to be, you know? I am responsible for my children's education, not the damn government. So, it is what it is. So yeah, I just wanted to vlog a little bit about how my homeschool journey is going show you how I look at the end of the day. <laughs> you know, end of the day look, end of the day exhaustion, mental exhaustion mostly, more than physical, but mostly mental. My brain is fried from trying to check stuff and help this kid do this, help this kid do that, and I still got a whole barrel of stuff I gotta like check. Like, I gotta check math problems and grade them and all that jazz. So yeah, it ain't over yet, but I'm chilling, everybody's playing. And I can breathe. Well, that's all I have for now. Let me know how you guys' day went. Let me know if you're having a great Monday. Um, yeah, if you have any questions about my homeschooling journey or anything, write them below. This is normally not my homeschooling channel. I used to do homeschool videos on my other hair channel, but not really uploading there anymore because eh, it's a long story. I don't feel like getting into that, but I just don't feel like it. <laughs> so I'm just going to be answering like little light homeschooling questions here on this channel. If you're interested, you can ask me anything down below and let's chat. Thank you for watching. Oh wait, don't forget to give this video a like. You guys be forgetting to like my videos. Stop forgetting. Yeah, I'm talking to you too. You in the green. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.